Right, so today I'm going to be re-reviewing the Ferrex Scarifier from Aldi. Now, the reason why I'm re-reviewing this Scarifier is because when I first started my channel last April, uh, it was the first video that I uploaded and I made a massive mistake in the two videos that I made. I talked about this as being the aerator and I talked about this as being the Scarifier. Now, these are two very different tools and I'm going to be speaking today about when you should be using this and when you should be using this. Now, let's start off with this tool. This tool is the Scarifier, and this is the thing that's gonna be written up all that thatch that's gonna be sat in your lawn. Now, the Scarifier tool has all these blades along it, and the idea is, is that these blades are gonna cut into the soil. So, I'll show you a little piece of garden here. The idea is, as the blade goes in, it's gonna rip into that top layer of soil, and it's gonna pull out any of the thatch that's within that top layer there. The idea behind this is it allows your lawn to breathe. And what you can do is after the scarifier is cut into the top layer of the soil, you can overseed, top dress, and the seed will fall then into some of those little gaps where you've cut through the scarifier and it allow more grass to grow through. Now you can see from this piece that I have here as well, it's got quite a bit of moss at the top. So like I said before, it's designed to cut into the soil. And I'll show you a few clips on screen now of when I used the Scarifier last year to cut into the soil on my back lawn. Now something just to mention, if you do have a lawn where it's quite uneven, the Scarifier will rip out a little bit of the grass. You've got to be careful of what settings you put it on. Now you can see on the Scarifier here, there's lots of different settings. You've got plus five, zero, and so on. Further down you move this, the lower the blades are going to be. Now I've never put it on minus 12 because when I've had it on minus three and minus eight, it digs into the grass quite a lot. So I imagine if you were to put it on minus 12, you're probably just going to end up ripping up your entire lawn. I have used this Scarifier this year to Scarify my front lawns and the difference it's made has been brilliant so far. So I'll show a few pictures on screen now of what it looks like after scarifying, what it looks like a couple of weeks later, and then even further once you've treated it with some fertilizer too. Now it's that whole thing of things have to get worse before they get better, and that's the same with scarifying. When you scarify your lawn for the first time, it is gonna look really rough, it's gonna look quite ropey, but you've got to trust in the process. Your neighbor's lawn might be looking better than yours because you've gone through the scarifier and you've cut into all that soil on your lawn and it's made it look a little bit ropey, but your lawn's now able to breathe. And once you overseed it and top dress it, it'll really, really pay off. Now, just something to mention, you'll notice that I've gone up and down the lawn with the scarifier just one way. Now, I wouldn't necessarily advise this because first off, you can see that there's spaces here where the scarifier has not actually been digging into the soil. And also, you're gonna to wanna to go across your lawn in a different direction too, just to get as much of that thatch out as you can. Now, this is the second attachment that the scarifier comes with. And on the Aldi website, they advertise it as being an aerator. And I get it to an extent because it is, in a sense, aerating your lawn because it's removing some of the dead matter, but it's not used to actually scarify the lawn. What it is essentially is a power rake because it's got the, the tines that you would sort of find on a normal, regular rake except this is just gonna make that job a whole lot easier by raking the entire lawn without you having to put in all that back breaking work. If you have a look with the piece of soil here, as these tines are spinning around, they've not got the strength to dig into the soil and to cut a line through it to rip off that thatch layer. However, what they will do is it'll rip through that top layer of the grass and it'll pull out any dead grass, any dead matter that's sat on top of the soil. Now, just to make the differences clear, this is the scarifier. This is what's gonna dig into your soil and it's gonna rip out lots and lots of that thatch that's in that top layer of soil. And this is your power rake. And what your power rake is gonna do is it's gonna rip out any of your dead grass, any of your dead matter that's sat on top of the soil. If I was you and you are looking to improve your lawn this spring, I would highly recommend picking up one of these machines. Now you can buy some manual scarifiers online. And if you've only got a small patch of grass, then maybe that's worth buying for you. However, if you've got a lawn that's maybe 50 square meters plus, it may be worth investing in getting one of these uh, scarifiers and power rakes. So I hope that makes sense. I have listened to the comments and I have seen over the past 12 months, people comments and saying, it's not the aerator, it's the scarifier, or it's not the scarifier, it's the aerator. And I know I was wrong in the video. However, I was a little bit new to all the gardening stuff back then, and hopefully I've clarified the differences between those two attachments. If you have found today's video useful, feel free to give it a like. If you'd like to watch any of my other videos, you can subscribe as well. I'm currently in the middle of a garden renovation where I've taken the back lawn, I've dug the entire thing up, I've put a retaining wall in place, I've laid a patio, and I've renovated the lawn completely. And I'll show you a little bit of a sneak preview now of how the lawn is actually getting on in the back garden. So if you are interested in catching any of those videos, feel free to subscribe and thanks for watching.